sorry I am married. Um, happened a couple months ago. I know I'm still a young sweet peach, only 43. When you know, you know. That's what I say. Ah, oh, so great to be here in Montreal. How you guys, everyone feeling okay? Everyone all right? I'm so happy uh, to be married. I'm married to my best friend, love of my life, uh, the one I turn to when uh, times get rough and my oasis. <laughs> Look, here's why I'm happiest to be married. I'm just glad I'll never be the single 40-something dude in a bar on the prowl ever again, <laughs> ever again, because those guys are horrifying. You know what I mean? They have a terrifying loneliness in their eyes. There, there, there's a feral hunger, like a bird, like a wild animal, like a crow or a chicken that's been loose way too long. Do you know what I mean? Because the time clock is ticking where they walk in the bar like. <laughs> hello, 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 hello. Did you say hello? No, hello, hello. <laughs> buy a drink, buy a drink, no, buy a drink. Buy, buy a drink, buy a drink, no, buy a drink. I'm very chill, I'm very chill. You're not chill at all. Don't look in his eyes, you'll turn to stone. He's horrifying. You know what I mean? Like just out there, just terrifying everyone. Because look, every single guy in a bar is gross. They're all gross. You never meet a pack of drunk dudes who's like, we're gonna go teach some kids to read. Like never. <laughs> They're out for their own shit, you know? But you're young, you're young, you're single in a bar, you're out for sex. And that's gross, but that's acceptable gross. When you're my age and you're in a bar single, you're out for companionship. <laughs> that's disgusting. Get online. You missed your chance. That's so gross, you know? You're out to meet a life partner? No. You know, and, and, and sex in itself is very gross. You know, like, I want to put myself in you. That's gross. You know, but like a, guy, a young guy being like, oh, I wanna fuck, I wanna grab some tits. That's gross. No, what's grosser than that? Please hold me, please. <laughs> I'm so alone. Wait, let me touch your young skin. We don't even have to make love. We can just spoon. Will you spoon me? Spoon me, lay on my back like a lady blanket. Run your tiny knuckles your doll-like knuckles down my rapidly graying stubble. Please, I don't want to die alone. I mean tonight. Just kiss my head and pour the sheets over my face. Wait, come back. I have jewelry, rubies, diamonds and gems, precious gold, platinum, half my savings. And yeah, yeah. Oh, you clap because it's scary. And that's my gift to you. That is the most horrifying voice you can use. It's not proprietary. Go nuts. Have fun. You can freak out any size venue, a Costco. You can terrify people in a Costco, like paper or plastic. Whichever one you would out right now, out. Oh, did you hear him? Jesus Christ. And now, you know, because I'm, I'm old, like all uh, my wife's friends, and my friends and our family members are like, so yeah, you gonna, mer? You guys gonna, mer? What? I don't know. Have a kid? Mer? Mm -hmm. Well, you're making Muppet sounds. What do you think I should do? And like, yeah, you know, I think we're planning on one, but I don't know if I'm ready to be that weird in someone else's eyes yet. Does that make any sense? If you, have a, if, you have a, if you make a person, you are permanently, they know too much about you. As they grow, they form and learn horrible things, everything about you. And it's just goddamn weird. I, I, I don't know if I'm ready to be that weird in, my, in, in anyone else's eyes that way. Look, when you're a parent, you, you get exhausted and you stop learning. I'll just go by texting. If I went by all the ways my parents are weird, we'd be here all night and I'd eat up everyone else's time. My dad texts me. At the end of every text, he writes, Dad. I know who that is. I've had your number as long as I've had a phone. Like, I wish he'd switch it up and be like, Steve. Like, your name is John. Who the hell is this? Mom, who's Steve? I don't know a Steve. Who are you talking about? 
my mom does something that's literally horrifying. She, at the end of a funny text, okay, she'll write me something. She's the funniest person I've ever met. But she'll write me something like, hey, have fun hiking in the canyon. Don't fall in and die, which is stark and super... <laughs> You know, hilarious. But she won't write LOL or kidding. My mom will write all caps, grin. Ah! Grin? No offense, but go fuck yourself, mom. That is horrifying. Who are you, the Joker? Who grins in a novel? The murderer. That's who. If you're in an alleyway and someone's written grin on the wall, you're like, we have to leave this neighborhood. The grin gang's here. I wrote her back, I was like, hey mom, instead of grin, why not just write two glowing red eyes at the end of a dark hallway in a haunted house in England at night and it's raining. It's longer, but it's the same effect as grin.